Achieving a quiet mind opens up a host of possibilities, multidimensional experiences, magical type of experiences that really are always accessible to you, but they just reside underneath the noise of your mind. When you're constantly overthinking and planning and trying to figure out your next move, you don't have the awareness available to perceive the subtle multidimensional experiences. In this video, I want to share with you an experience I had just the other night. Absolutely incredible, spontaneous, came out of nowhere. My mind has been quieting down. I've been noticing recently, because I've been doing the deep healing work and leaning into the emotions that, truthfully, that we generally want to avoid, right? The stress, the anxiety, the fear, the staying small, the being comfortable. I've been leaning into those a lot more consciously recently, um, probably over the last year. 2023 was a huge year for me, really sitting with the, the dense energy and really diving in deep and alchemizing it. Did a lot of work connecting with my body, a lot of breath work, got me out of my mental energy, out of the mental field, and it allowed the mind to kind of quiet down. Now, it's important to realize that your thoughts are going to be there. Your thoughts come, your thoughts go. It's the energy that is behind the thought that's what's important. And when that energy is heavy or dense because of programming, because of past experiences, because of limiting beliefs, it pulls us out of the present moment. It pulls us out of alignment and we tend to align with that energy. It's a familiar friend, right? So we get in and we start to experience all of these, these heavy effects, anxiety and fear and stress, things like that. We're in fight or flight mode, right? But when we could learn to get present, when we could learn to just observe the thoughts and do the body work, the breath work, and get into the body and heal, what happens is the thoughts continue to rise up, but they don't hold that heavy emotion. There's really little emotional charge to the thoughts. And that's where you want to get to be. I know a lot of times I see people trying to stop their thoughts or change their thoughts. That's resisting the moment and what's happening. Let your mind do its thing. But create awareness around what's happening. Get presence. Just a simple act of bringing awareness to your thoughts, realizing that right now you're not present, you are actually present in that moment. Drop into the body and, and feel whatever energy is attached to those thoughts. Allow yourself to feel it. The next time those thoughts rise up, they're going to have less charge. They're going to have less energy. They're just going to kind of float on by. And that's the state that you want to start to get to. And I've been reaching that state more and more. Just the other night, I have I was just relaxing, laying on the couch, just chilling for a little bit. And all of a sudden, it's like a portal opened up to me. I had my eyes closed. My mind was really quiet. And a portal opened up. And I found myself moving through it, my consciousness moving through it, into a space from my childhood. I was at my aunt's house and it was a summer day. It's winter right now, but it was a summer day. And I was experiencing this space. I was experiencing the energy that was there. I was actually hearing people. There were, there were children playing about. I was one of them, okay? I was there as a child and my consciousness was there as who I am now. And I was experience this, experiencing this and I was experiencing the emotional state, the emotions that were available at that time. And it was a very joyful, carefree, fun, playful kind of atmosphere. Okay, so it's like peering in through time and space to a different location. Okay, different location in space and a different location in time. And I was there as consciousness because I remember kind of came in down from the ceiling and I was up above um, where I would have been if I was standing there physically, okay? But I had this awareness about it and I was fully present knowing where I was laying on my couch and yet I was experiencing this reality, this energy from my linear past. We know multidimensionally, it's just a fabric, uh, a connection through quantum energy, quantum space-time, okay? So it's all happening in the now. 
So I was able to peer in on that. And the interesting revelation that I had or realization that I had during the experience is that that young version of me, child, I don't know how old I was, probably eight, nine, 10 years old, somewhere around there, connected with the future me, the me who I am now. There was a quantum connection there. Now, I don't have any memory of that from when I was younger, but I knew it in every cell of my being that there was a connection that was made and that happened at that time from my past. So I became aware when I was younger in my past of this connection to my future self, the present me, right? But I probably didn't know who that individual was or what was happening. It could have, it could have manifested as like a deja vu type of experience or maybe just a, a, a short little disconnect for reality. But sure enough, I knew that that younger me was able to sense my presence, my consciousness there at that point in time. Okay. So that just goes to show you that everything is happening in the present moment. When we get aligned with our mind, our mind pulls us out of the present moment. It uses energy to do that. Some sort of energy, dense energy that strikes fear and anxiety and gets us into a problem-solving mode, a fight-or-flight mode, which pulls our consciousness literally out of the body and into the mental field. And that anchors you into a more dense 3D reality. So when you're in this more dense 3D reality, my Pleiadian guide likes to call it being human, we suffer because we're disconnected from the truth of who we are, our multidimensional aspects. When we disconnect or feel disconnected, we're never really disconnected, but we feel disconnected because we're identified solely as the human, perceiving reality through our five senses. All of those multidimensional experiences that are available to us fly under the radar. It's only until you can quiet your mind down by diffusing or reclaiming that energy that's attached to those thoughts that you could start to open up and start to be able to become aware of all of the multidimensional experiences that are around you. And I remember about three or four years ago, I know I did a video on my YouTube channel about this a while back. I had an experience where I was out in my garage and all of a sudden this portal opened up and I was observing myself probably in fifth grade sitting at a desk in school. Okay. Um, so I've had these experiences before. This one felt a little bit more cohesive, a little bit more in depth. Um, just an amazing, amazing multidimensional experience. It was just more, um, I was more present in it and more aware of what was happening. I know I had awareness of children running around through the house. I was able to look outside. It was summertime, beautiful summer day. My relatives were there. I was just kind of in on a consciousness level perceiving this. And it reminded me of what we, how we perceive experiences when we're not here in the physical. So like before you land and after you pass or transition, right? Those are the types of experiences that we have and very akin to like 5D experiences, right? Where we can manifest and create an avatar, create a shape or create a form out of thought. It was very much like that, very consciousness-based, not so physical. But I was there, I was present in that space at that time. And I knew that the young version of me perceived or was connected to my consciousness and my awareness there. Because again, everything is happening in the now. I just created a bridge. Maybe the bridge was there, the tunnel was there, but I something guided me down it, right? Or maybe I opened up a portal, right? Something guided me into it and through it, my higher self, of course, and allowed me to have that experience. And that experience, those types of experiences are available to you as well. When you can quiet the mind, and as you quiet the mind, the quietness is going to feel really uncomfortable. And for some, maybe for you, you feel like you have to busy yourself because you don't like the quiet, right? That stillness is where we want to be. We want to be without thought. We want to just be present, okay? If thoughts come up, we just let them go. They have no charge. They don't get our attention. 
It's the emotional energy that gets our attention to the thought. When you could reclaim that energy, do the deep healing work in the body, the thoughts just kind of float on by. They don't have that emotional charge. You remain present to the point where maybe you're not even aware of the thoughts. So you find yourself in this quantum, quiet, blissful state. And it's in that state where your higher self can open up these amazing multidimensional experiences and have a connection. So what was the point of that experience I had? For me, what I came back with, and this experience only lasted a few moments, seemed like it was a lot longer, but it only lasted a few moments. But what I was able to connect with was the innocence and the joy and the fun, the blissfulness and the playfulness of my youth. Before life piled on all of its crap, right? All of the responsibilities, all of the programming, all of the things we're expected to do, whether we expect it of ourselves or others expected of us. Before that, I was able to connect to that aspect of me and feel and experience that energy. It's like I found that energy and I drew it in and I brought it back with me. Such an incredible, powerful, powerful experience. If you're working on quieting your mind and you're finding, I just can't commit, I can't give it the energy it, or attention that it deserves, I keep feeling like I'm failing, if that's you, reach out to me and I'll send you a link for a free discovery call for my a new you program. In the program, we go through exactly that, learning how to detach from these thoughts connect with the body, quiet the mind, and elevate your frequency. Building a foundation to be able to download, anchor, and embody your higher self so that your reality can start to open up and reflect a multidimensional reality. And you have the presence and the consciousness available to be able to perceive these types of events. So if you're interested in that, comment, I'm ready in the comments, and I'll send you a link for a free 45-minute discovery call. We'll dive into where you're stuck, what's going on with you. I'll get some background. I'll share a little bit about my program. And if you're a fit, great. And if not, you're going to walk away with some tips and tools that you can use. So definitely comment, I'm ready, and I will send you that link. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. I'd be so grateful. Thank you.